Hello, and welcome to ShipU Stats. In this video, we're going to go over a paired sample t test in JASP. A paired sample t test will allow us to compare a group to itself at a different measurement point. A paired sample t test is also known as a repeated measures t test or a dependent sample t test. A paired sample t test will allow us to compare two different measurements of the same sample. For example, we could take a group of students and compare the number of texts they send on Monday to the number of texts they send on Thursday. It's the same group of students who are making two different measurements of that group. We could also take a group of students and measure the amount of television they watch on Friday and compare that to the amount of television they watch on Sunday. In order to conduct a paired sample t-test, we'll have to meet these assumptions. First, we have a group that we've measured twice. And we have that data paired so we know each person's scores on both measurements. Our data is going to need to be equal interval or scale, and our sample needs to be normally distributed. All right, let's set up our data. In order to set up our data for a paired sample t test, we'll need to enter our data into columns so that the columns line up with each other for each participant. For example, here I have the amount of television that students watch on Friday versus Sunday nights. I have my variables entered at the top, and then each row represents a participant. So my first participant has a score here, and their score on Sunday is right next to it. Each row in my entire data set represents a person, and I have my scores lined up with them. I have the same thing over here for number of texts that students send on Monday and Thursday nights. All right, now on to JASP to run our analyses. Now that we have our data in JASP, we can go ahead and run our paired sample t-test. To do this, we'll go ahead and click on the t-test menu and then click on paired sample t-test. Once we've done that, we'll go ahead and make sure that student is selected under tests, and then we can start moving over our variables. Remember, we're moving our variables over in pairs because we're measuring two different measurement time points. For our first test, we're going to see the difference in television watching on Friday versus on Sunday. So I'm going to move over Friday first, and you'll see that a little box has opened up over here now. I'm going to go ahead and put my Sunday night television watching in that box there. Once we've done that, you'll see a T value, degrees of freedom, and a P value pop up over here. You'll see that we have a statistical significant P value, and so we know that there's a difference between these two measurement points. However, to know which measurement point had more television watching, we'll need to click on descriptive statistics. So go ahead and click on descriptives, and we'll see our descriptive statistics over here. Specifically, we can look at our means to see which night had more television watching. In this case, it happens to be Friday night. We can also do this with our other variables. We'll go ahead and remove those variables, and now we'll move over Monday texting and Thursday texting, and we can see which day students sent more texts on. Here you'll see that we do not have a statistical significant p-value, and that these two means are close enough to each other that we don't think they're actually different. All right, now that we have our results, we can go ahead and write this up in APA format. To write up our results of our paired sample t-test, we'll go ahead and write a sentence that conveys the information that we found in our test. You'll see here, in our first example, that we found that there was significantly more television watching on Friday than there was on Sunday. I have my means and standard deviations of both nights, and I have my t-test itself in parentheses here. I start with my t-symbol, my degrees of freedom, my t-value, and my p-value. In the second example, we found that there was not more text sent on Monday versus Thursday. I have my means and standard deviations for both Monday and Thursday, and I have my t-value, my degrees of freedom, and my p-value in parentheses. All right, thanks for watching this video on a paired sample t-test in JASP.